it's vlogist day 11 and today I'm about to head off to the gym as you may be able to tell by my gym gear. Um, I have totally fallen off the gym wagon like in the last probably week and a half. Um, I've been a couple of times but I just am not feeling it. I've stopped enjoying it as much as I was which is really difficult because I went through probably two months of absolutely loving it and getting along really well and wanting to go all the time. Um, whereas now I just feel like I don't want to go, like I'm getting like a little bit of dread every time so I need to like combat it. So this week I'm gonna like really tackle it and try and make myself really love it again because I think everybody goes through kind of ups and downs with the gym, I think especially if you um, have spent like a lot of your life not working out. So I'm hoping that's the case anyway. So I'm gonna go to the gym now and then I think I have to walk woof because Mike is really poor, he's in here. Um, you know he had his tooth done a couple of days ago, well he's basically been in absolute agony for the last three days. Um, last night was particularly bad, he just couldn't sleep all night because he was in so much pain, um, which is really horrible to see and it, yeah, it's just not cool. And I mean, Woof's going through a phantom pregnancy as well, so I had Mike like whining that he was, not whining, but like groaning and moaning and like being in a lot of pain and then Woof at the end of the bed panting and thinking that she's giving birth. So it's been an interesting couple of nights. Um, yeah, and I just hope he starts to feel better soon because he's in so much pain. I think we need to go and see the dentist again today and see if he can get some stronger painkillers because they just don't seem to be doing anything and he's just in absolute agony. So that has not been fun, especially for him. I mean, he's on the sofa today, um, just, yeah, really miserable and eating hurts, even anything. His whole mouth hurts, apparently, so not cool for him. But I'm going to hit the gym now and then I've got a couple of errands to run, so I'm going to take you with me. Shall we walk you first, Woofy? Do you want to go for a walk? Come on then. <laughs> Woof was too desperate to go for a walk, so I'm going to walk her first. Woof gets so crazy excited when she goes for a walk. It's the funniest thing. I just love watching her. Um, yeah, I a bit of an update for you guys as well. Ingrid and Luke actually couldn't come this weekend because they got tickets to the closing ceremony of the Olympics, which I am so, so jealous about. Um, I think it's going to be absolutely amazing. So... Yeah, they couldn't come and stay, which really, really sucks, because I was hoping they could be, and it means that we didn't get to say goodbye to them either, so, um, I don't know. I don't know when I'm next going to see them, which sucks, but, um, I don't know, maybe sometime soon, I hope. hope to get out to LA again sometime soon, but, I mean, this year has been crazy for me going to LA, so I don't think, realistically, I'm going to see them anytime soon, which is really sad, because we thought, we kind of said goodbye, and, you know, when you say goodbye, when you kind of think you're going to see each other again soon. You're just like, oh yeah, bye, see you in a few days, kind of thing. So, that sucked. Mike's still poorly. Do you want to be in the film? No. No. Mike is still feeling poorly on the sofa. I just got back from the gym. And it was actually better than I thought. I managed to do like half an hour running and then do some weights and stuff. And yeah, I feel good. I'm like just hoping that I can really get back into it because like I said, it sucks. But I'm going to make a smoothie now and then I'm going to hopefully make some soup for Mike because he's still feeling really bad. Um, and yeah, I think my mum might come around later for a cup of tea, so I will see you then. Hello again guys, so I've just been um, out grocery shopping and I am about to cook Mike dinner, so I thought I would show you what I'm cooking and how I'm cooking it. Now, because he's got toothache, he requested something easy to eat, so I've decided to cook shepherd's pie, which I actually, even though I cook it with mince, like minced beef, I still call it shepherd's pie, which I believe shepherd's pie is actually when you cook it with minced lamb, and it's cottage pie when you cook it with beef, but I have always call it shepherd's pie anyway, so I'm cooking shepherd's pie. Um, so, I have all the ingredients here. I have my super lean um, beef, I have some shallots and garlic, and dolmio bolognese sauce, because I cheat and put that in it, and I've got tomato puree. Um, I forgot to buy carrots, but I think I'm just going to put peas in instead because they're good in there as well. Some nice organic potatoes and some asparagus for the side because I thought we should really be having some greens. And then sneakily for his pudding so that it's easy to eat as well. I got him some sticky toffee pudding. And the reason why I like buying Mike this is because I don't actually like these very much. So I'm not tempted to eat them. Whereas if I buy him something like cheesecake, I love cheesecake and I'm always tempted to eat them. Um... And whilst I'm trying to be healthy, it's probably not the best option. So I'm going to get cooking and I'm going to show you the finished result. I'm actually quite excited because I'm doing it in a heart-shaped bowl, especially for a surprise for him to hopefully make him feel better. So, um, yeah, he's still on the sofa feeling really sorry for himself. 
Um, so if you're going to write a comment, then please wish him to get well soon because it's really sucky. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get cooking and I'll be back in a minute. So I've got the onions and the garlic browning in this pan and then I have the potatoes for the mash boiling away in there. And then I'm just going to add the mince to this and then wait for it to brown and then add the sauce. For the sauce, I add in a little bit of cheeky dolmio bolognese low fat. I know probably not the best, um, but Mike doesn't like... Um, like chunky tomato in his food, so we have to compromise. And then I put in a little bit of tomato puree, some red wine just to kind of make it a little bit richer and tastier, and then my secret ingredient, hot sauce. I always put hot sauce in um, mince or shepherd's pie, bolognese, because I like it a little bit spicy. So I'm gonna add all this into my mince, which is nicely browning. And this is it, guys, the finished result. Doesn't it look tasty? Just kidding, this is woofs. <laughs> Here you go, Woos. Can you have some? Can you have some? Oh, she's off her food with her phantom pregnancy, aren't you? Come on, look, it's tasty. It's tasty, you try. You try. Good girl. Good girl. Poor Woofy. Okay, so this is what it really looks like, and I'm gonna put them into three bowls. This one's for Mike. It's like the big heart-shaped one um, <laughs> to make him feel better. This one's for me, because I'm having a Caesar salad as well. And then I'm going to do, I think there's a bit too much there, like there's quite a lot, so I'm going to do one and freeze one. So, let's try and do this with one hand, this could be treacherously dangerous. I'm going to pop in some mints, maybe two spoonfuls, maybe two and a half. And then I'm going to pop in some mashed potato. Spread it around a little bit. Then I have a little bit of cheddar. I'm going to sprinkle this on top. Just a little bit on mine because I don't want as much cheese as Mike. Like that! And then I'm going to pop them in the oven and grill the cheese and then we will be done. Ta-da! The finished result. Doesn't it look tasty? Mm, I'm going to take it to Mike and see what he thinks. This is mine. I have a weird concoction of Caesar salad with asparagus and anchovies in it but Oh well, I'm weird. I like to eat weird things. Let's see what Mike thinks. Is it tasty? Can you eat it with your tooth? It's very good. Oh. A well cooked meal. Oh, how are you feeling? I'm like death warmed up. Rubbish. I have. It's very unattractive. I have to eat in the side of my mouth. Nice. Pouch eating. Mm, like a hamster. I feel. I feel like I should have my food liquidised for me. <laughs> That's pretty much liquidised. Is it tasty though? Very tasty. Very tasty. Should we watch a movie tonight? Yeah. You fancy watching a movie? Have you got any DVDs that we haven't watched yet? No, but I watched Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy this afternoon. Did you? That was really good. I haven't watched it in ages. We only wanted to watch it and you wouldn't I didn't it. want to watch it. I've seen it loads of times. It's really good. So we're going to watch a movie and... Yeah. Woofy is licking a big toe. That was really gross. Woof! She just, I think she wants a shepherd's pie. She wants some shepherd's pie. I did save her a little bit of mint because I know she likes it. She's expecting um, my whole mint. I think she's look, just not excited to eat it. Do you want it? Oh, Woofy. Um, but we are going to watch a movie now. And hopefully you feel a bit better. You've been smashing some painkillers, haven't you, to try and numb the pain. Got to go back to the dentist tomorrow. Rubbish. Is he going to redrill it? I, I reckon, like Dad said, I reckon he's going to give me more antibiotics. I think he's going to give you antibiotics. I think so. He might have to, he might have, he might have to drain it, I think. But. On that note, guys, <laughs> we will see you tomorrow. Hopefully, Mikey will be smiling again. I'm not going to try to smile. That's too much. <laughs>